comic book day tomorrow. What are you guys picking up? McClay, what are you getting? Um, all right. Let's take a look here. Uh, I have a lot of them, so I'll try to get through them quick. But um, I just love this uh, new Wonder Woman cover. I think it's a really good cover. Speaking of Wonder Woman, agreed. Um, um, love that cover. Love this cover. This Edgar Allan Poe Ooh, cover. Snifter covers are always great. Yeah. yeah. Um, love this Silk book. All three covers on it are pretty good. Um, this new witch character looks interesting. I still think Silk is like so underappreciated. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know if you guys were big Astro City fans, but uh, Alex there's a new- Ross. Yeah, there's a new Astro City, Kurt Busiek, uh, Astro City stuff. Um, so I'll check that out. But there are, uh, there is one, there are a couple of books that I think are probably must gets this week. And the number one being the Sakuna Ghost Rider. I think it's probably one of the best covers I've seen all year. Um, it's probably going to end up going in the cover of the year category for me. And it's a one in 25, so pick them up now. But there's a lot of good covers with this. Um, but this is the this is the one to get. And then, um, you know, it might be a good thing to pick up the uh, Amazing Spider-Man just for that uh, Chasm cover. Gleason cover. Is it Gleason, right? Yeah, this is Gleason. And then to end it, after I've stolen everybody's picks. <laughs> you got to go last. I go love... Last. I love uh, Spider Hulk, and I'm gonna. I'll take this all day just for the cover, just for yeah. the cover. So, you know that Nakayama um, Ghost Rider isn't terrible either. Yeah, it, it, there's a lot of good Ghost Riders in here. Um, there Actually, was good the ones peach, last week. The Peach isn't bad either. <sighs> it reminds me of her uh, Power Ranger stuff. Peach has oh. a decent cover for a book that I'm, I'm sure Dan will probably mention if he doesn't. I will. Let me get this peach cover. Come on, let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's locked up on me too. I'm kind of done with peach. I don't know why. So am I. Yeah, I moved on I to think, I think a lot of people are, but that that one's actually one of her one of her better ones. I think for Marvel, the, the skull's not too bad, but it should have just been the skull. It shouldn't have been this part. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. So. Coloration is just. I'm over the color, way she does the colors. Yeah, Pastel. I'm with you. Well, she's uh, a watercolor uh, artist, isn't she? Yeah. I think that this cover is so amazing, man. I think this Agreed. is one of the best covers I've seen. Like I said, it's it's absolutely unreal. Really, really good. The trade, the way the trade is in it, it looks good. Um, I just wish this wasn't here, but it is what it is. So. I'm sure they don't make a, they don't make a virgin. Uh, I don't know. They didn't say they had one for that one. So Which is good because normally they do. It's like almost yeah. as bad as dynamite. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm telling you, I I think that book is gonna. I I don't know. It's number two, so I don't know if there were many um, exclusives for number two for Ghost Rider two. Hopefully there wasn't, um, and then that has a little bit of weight behind it, you know. But uh, I think you can still get them right now for about ratio. Yeah. So um, yep. I would suggest picking them up if if you and can. You bring up a good point. If there's viewers out there that might not be aware of the the, the exclusives. When retailers order exclusive variants, they get incentive ratios for their exclusives. So if they order 3,000 of their exclusives, that's however many ratio variants they get of that book. Yep. So. Amen. So. Alberto. Oh, man. I think I know one book. Oh, yeah. You get all covers. It? There's like three, three frozen covers, aren't there? Oh, there's there's more than that. And I'll uh, I'll swap over to um, actually uh, McClay's getting there quick enough yeah you want something that's killing the children yeah let's pull up some of these killing the children i'll just stick with this one um now cover a isn't terrible uh i like the fact that we're seeing her journeying into the next arc deeper it's kind of like a, there's a deeper meaning here to cover a that i like but uh mcclay if you go down my favorite is actually right there the nakia or is it the on the far right not so much like uh, del Otto is actually the, pretty the dan too. mora you the like Dan, Dan Mora, Mora vari- variant, the 125, is actually my favorite Ooh. looking at it right now. Yeah. And then the 1 in 100 Del, Del Auto, I think it is. Now, this is yeah. the one. This was the cover that people were thinking was going to drop for a different issue. And that 1 in 100 is finally, this is supposed, supposed to be like a 1 in 1,000 or something like that. Um, I think for House of Slaughter, number one, they were thinking this might be it. And uh, actually, it's landing here. It looks really good. 
I'm just not completely 100% sold on wraparound covers like this when it's one full art piece and it's not a connecting variant. We'll see what happens when we get it in hand tomorrow. We do have everything set I'm gonna aside. I'm going to get it and take the cover off and put it up on my wall as a poster. Hey, there, there you, you go. go. I remember I doing that in the 90s. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was Bud I'm Bud just Bud looking Bud. forward to getting deeper into this next story arc with something is killing the chimney where this goes. This is kind of no joke. This is a variant burnout season. Is that We're the getting... Frankie's Hughes? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I hate to We're... say I like it because I, I do like it. I mean, we're 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 yeah, seriously like getting that. into like variant burnout here because every spring people start wanting to get back outside and doing outdoor activities, and they keep <laughs> pumping out these variants. And this is no slouch when it comes to variants. When you scroll down, Brian, um, there are four different Frizen covers. The one in fifty. This is gorgeous. It is gorgeous, but how many? I mean, it's the same cover four times, and and yeah. they did a die cut, then they did a bloody die cut. Then they also did a one per store version of that. <laughs> wow, that's so this down. is ridiculous! Oh my god, look at all these. But there, yeah. there you go. Click on that one real quick. The real cover here, the real gem, the cut. is a little bit further down from this one. That's the one per store variant. The real gem here is going to be the tiny onion exclusive. If you keep scrolling down further, right there, that's going to be. My understanding is this is supposed to be a gold foil. Oh wow. That my understanding is that's supposed to be a gold foil, and that's wow. only being released to Founders Day members of the Tiny Onion Club. And uh, which is you? They're right? all going to get one, or you have a chance of getting one. We're we're all supposed to get one, so this could be limited to less than less than five hundred copies, maybe two fifty ish to four hundred ish, roughly. If, if you guys don't all get one, I'm going to call so much bullshit on James Tinian, man. I'm going to call so much bullshit. I'd so, be so mad if I was you guys and I didn't get one of these. I, I haven't I haven't read the Tiny Onion update emails just yet. I haven't been caught up caught up on that. But my understanding is this is supposed to be a gold foil and is only for the Founders Day members that uh, signed up within the first 24 hours. So I'm looking forward to getting that in the mail and sending it right off to CGC if Hell it's in yeah. really high grade. The ash can gold foil. Exactly. That's where I'm at. And the ash can for this that also released two or three weeks early, right back up there, all black, scrolled up two more rows. Hold on, let's see this Ji Hung Lee one. Ooh, oh, that's yeah. Bad. I don't even oh, like I that. actually like that one a lot. This uh, is there's the action and the, the promo that released like what two or three weeks ago. Yeah. That looks like a like a cover of like with a max like cover like like a it's a Metallica black album. Yeah, like that. it it kind of reminds me of the Metallica of the '90s. But uh, that's that's my one pick of the week. Is uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I was getting a really good hold of my new comic book day expenditures. And now all of a sudden I've got that list and everything for somebody who's killing the children is on there all in one shot. It's the only book that I didn't drop all of the uh, variants to. I, I still ordered all the variants to this. I'm still kind of sticking it out on this because I feel like that wow. we're still going to see some covers that'll have a little bit more exclusivity, if you will, without being store exclusives. Well, they also can't do a store exclusive for every issue. Now it's only like the start of arcs. Yeah. So or number ones for, for boom. We'll uh, we'll see what happens and we'll see we'll see if this this plunge into the next arc retains value. We'll see what the meat on meat and the potatoes really is inside of that inside of those covers tomorrow when we get to read it. It's a spec though, right? I mean it's, it's a first appearance of somebody. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't yeah, gotten that deep it into is. it. Yes. I mean, according okay, I, to I, Key I, Collector, something going on with that thing. Oh, I should probably go look at that. A new I character, which makes it like, because there are so many variants coming out now, it's like turning it's into noise. Boggling. It's yeah, like and, dog days and without a spec or without some content that's specy. Um, no man, way. Right. It's gonna be weird, and in in we're gonna see a I'm lot of dollar I'm just excited to see where she's going next. Stuff. <laughs> Dan, what are you getting? I am. Well, did did you guys mention Hulk Grand Design? No, I have not. Hulk Grand Design, um, issue one by Jim Rugg, and There's cool covers on that thing. Cause these, he's awesome. These guys are awesome. I mean, you know, they do. He does cartoonist K Fab with Ed Pisker, and I just love that indie, alternative indie, true indie stuff. Um. It looks cool. Some of these these things look cool. And when then Marvel lets these indie people come out, come alternative. I, I'm calling them alternative actually. When they let alternative people come in and do their stuff, it, I think it's glorious. And um, 
yeah, I can't wait to read this. I, I this is fun for me. I I love alternative comics. I think that's where it's sort of there's the other art comics. of comics is. Yeah, there's, there's there's a couple of variants too. This is the Pisker variant. The variant's cool. Yeah, yeah the Pisker. Yeah, that's the one to get. I mean, Pisker's like gonna be at Baltimore this year. Oh really? Yep. When is is Baltimore? What's when's Baltimore October. this year? October. Perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. And the other comic is uh, Cities of Magic from Scout. Um, and Tangerus put that in the chat too. Yeah, I, I I just love a premise like this. It's like gangsters, um, gang war with like fantasy elements in New York City, like New York witches and swordcraft, but really a gangster drama. Oh, that looks I'm cool, all man. for it. I mean, this is exactly the shit I love to read, to be honest. And I it's a perfect combination because sometimes they're not. Sometimes when they do like this and this, like fantasy and this, they merge two things. It doesn't always work, but. I think the the New York too with the gangster and the fantasy it just it's the perfect blend to make something. Kind of reminds me it has a Ready Player One look to it. Yeah, I mean, it looks and, a lot I, like Jeff Darrow too. Yeah, it does, does yeah. Does the the font on the cover look a little Irish or? Yeah. Am I I'm thinking too deep into that? <laughs> What's well, that? The, the font on the cover does that look a little like Gaelic, like Irish? Yeah, old. Yeah, like yeah, like old lettering. Yeah, a little bit. Scout is doing some pretty interesting stuff that no one seems to care about. Their Black Caravan imprint's been great. I'm definitely gonna be looking for that tomorrow on Dink's recommendation. I mean, I think when uh, Scout's uh, film properties start coming out, because they they signed a bunch of stuff, um, you will re- people will regret not paying attention to Scout. Not gut ghost though. You can have it. <laughs> and they, I like their Scoot imprint and how they yeah. they publish one issue one Scoot. and then a trade issue one and a trade. Yeah. Because issues twos don't sell, and honestly, I think that makes a lot of sense. Huh. Um. So I don't yeah. know. I, I like that strategy. I would execute it if I had enough money. But um, I think it makes sense for retailers as well because they're also sick of holding all these like number twos and no one buys number threes and no one buys unless yeah. they add all kinds of fake specky shit into it you know yep my daughter and i have been chasing all the variants for unicorn, unicorn oh a number one which according to scout is supposed to start filming any day now yeah uh so if you're out there and you have one of the kickstarter variant covers contact me on uh, instagram let me know i'll i'll make it worth your while what are you getting tomorrow tony I'm sorry, Dan, were you done? Yeah, no, yeah. That's... Um, you know what's caught my eye? I don't know. The, not a lot this week. Um there is a title though. Sometimes I don't usually commit to a title until I don't know, sometime between issue one and ten, where it just it's piqued my interest. A lot of them piqued my interest with number one, but that's what they're supposed to do, right? The marketing, the the cool art for the first cover, the great concept. Um, but Righteous Thirst for Vengeance, number six, I think, mm. comes out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think they're getting into their second uh, little arc. Uh, this is one that I, I put in as soon as that deluxe hardcover comes out from Image with the first, whatever, 20, 25 issues, I will pre order as soon as possible. Um, it's my favorite way to read these image indies. Um, I don't Plus know. It's this Rick isn't... Remender. Yeah. Yeah. Rick Remender. It's not a, I don't, I don't know if it's a spec play or not. There is a one in 25 of number one by Tula Lote. That's really nice. But I mean, this is the kind of thing that could very easily be optioned. I mean, the character is made to look like Benedict Wong. So yeah, it would be a no brainer to have it made. And Benedict has worked with Rick Remender before. Um, but even if it comes out and does well on streaming, you know, this isn't a superhero storyline. It's probably not going to spike the books all that much. You know, we've seen that before with uh, non-superhero genre comics. But I don't care. This is a this is kind of a read. Yeah, I read the first three. I've kind of fallen off. Not yeah. that it wasn't good. It's just time. <laughs> I mean, the art is very similar to the cut 
Katsushiro Tomo, his like more urban, the guy that made Akira, his more like contemporary work. Um, it looks really similar. It's got the same tone as well and the same like level of violence. And and if Benedict Wong was in a movie like this, I think it would, I think it could do well. I think people would be like, oh, that's a different, interesting kind of casting for this kind of movie. I think it would pique a lot of people's interest because it's so different. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a good actor. He's he brilliant. Was in, he was in, what was that failed Nick uh, Netflix? Marco Polo, right? Yeah. yeah. A few years ago. That yeah, that was budget good. That didn't really yeah. go anywhere. It's but supposed to be the Game really of Thrones. Yeah. I think, I think he's the most charismatic Asian actor right now. Yeah, he was great in that to Marco be Polo. I don't think anyone's got his charisma. No Asian has his charisma level, to be, in my opinion. They're just not that charismatic, in my opinion. <laughs> Do you have anything else, Tony? No. That's that's my pick. I'm sticking to it. Ryan. Well, after the last of bunch, there's not a whole lot to choose from. <laughs> but uh, I do like the the, the Hulk. Uh, that's the, the current run of the Hulk. Uh, there's a one where he's looking through the uh, through the blinds. Um, I think that's a cool cover. Um, that's the only Ghost one Rider. of the blinds one to me that is good. I think the other ones are bad. I think this one's good. The Ghost Rider um, one was pretty cool. Yeah. The, uh, also, Silver Surfer uh, Rebirth. I started. I was reading that. I just got this in the mail uh, from somewhere. And I thought this was a badass cover, and I was. I'm gonna send this one off to get CGC. But uh, yeah, that thing. Wow. Is just, it's like in person. It's, it looks real good in person. With, with all the I like the. The Ron Lim art on Silver Surfer too. It's kind of cool to see. It's throwback. Yeah, I like the, I like Galactus too. So um, yeah, like that. There's that cover, and then there's the. Um, I'm not gonna do the. I like the the third one. I guess the, yeah, that one. <clears throat> Carnage one. No, the other one. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, the Tulaski. I like purple with the Silver Surfer. Yeah, it, it's I a, agree. It's it's good with them. So. Those two, and that's that's pretty much it. I like the the uh, Hulk grand design too, like uh, Dank said, and I'm probably gonna pick up one of those covers, and that'll do. Or... Did you guys see the um, the Art Adams version of this cover, but it's the black and white? Mm -mm. It is amazing. It's so good. I was hoping to show you guys, but they don't have it. It's really that's good. That kind of explains why um, why about Spider Man? What is it? One eighteen. Seems to be bumping up in price. The first Ben Riley or the first. Yep. I can't remember. 118 is going. Yeah. Web of. Yeah. Web of Spider Man. I can't remember if it was 118 or 136 or something like that. But essentially, Speaking... the first Ben Riley is. Speaking of Spider Man, I like the Miles Morales 36 tomorrow, that Tyler mm. Kirkland variant. Mm hmm. Let me find that. Yeah, Let's that is a good one. Can we pay credit to where credit is due for being able to alphabetize? I know, right? <laughs> on League Thank of you. Comic Geeks now. Holy wow. crap! I like how you could you could paint, paint. I would have Tyler Kirkham put put little swooshes on there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's just a cool cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brian likes yellow. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, like like Ryan was with purple and silver surfer. Yeah, I'm a sucker for yellow covers, but um, that's just cool one in general. And then there's one, just another great cover pick, uh, Dark Stalkers, the Capcom game. Oh yeah, there's a variant for that. Dark Stalkers Morgan number one. Wow, oh, I forgot yeah, about this. Uh, if you go down to oh, that's cool. It's like flat. that one right there. This one, yeah. There's there's also one of her. That yeah, that's creepy. There's also one of her coming through the video game. Look at this one. Yeah, this one's oh. really good. And it's oh. Udon, right? Udon mm -hmm. does all the Street Fighter comics, also Capcom, but so it's a one shot for her. But that's that, really cool. That other one, I mean, it's a that's a ten dollar comic. It's I think it's what a one in ten. But. Yeah, this is the limb variant, and then this one is the one in five. Is that a homage to a movie called like Nurse or something? I don't know, but the it's crazy. So it was a, it was a video game, and then they, I think they had like a, a 
uh, cartoon for like one season or something like that. The nurse with the purse. Nurse 3D. I, it looks like a homage to Nurse 3D, but yeah. or the she, ring. I'm kidding. And, and, and she <laughs> yeah. also has a giant syringe yeah. in that. The only other book, um, which I thought for sure Dan was going to pick, because we like a lot of the same indie books, but uh, Step by Bloody Step number two comes out tomorrow. Nice. So. Roots. <clears throat> Roots. <sighs> That's going to do our picks for New Comic Book Day. 